Once more, welcome to Money Shree Cap. I'm going to show you a 2014 sci-fi horror movie called Parasite Part 1. Beware of spoilers. At the beginning of the film, it is shown that some unexplained aliens known as parasites are traveling from the sea to the city. Then a man who is asleep in his room enters the area. He lets one of the parasites creep into his ear. Even though the man is agitated, he returns to sleep to unwind. Shinichi, a boy, now makes an appearance. He puts headphones in his ears at night and listens to music. The parasite attempts unsuccessfully to go inside his ear. When it moves to his nose side, Shinichi experiences itching and thinks it's a bug. He picks it up and throws it aside. He makes a move to stomp it. After being severed, the parasite returns to his hands. At the same moment, his mother comes. My hand has become infected, he exclaims. When his mother examines it, his hand is in perfect condition. Shinichi is revealed to experience some irritability in his hand while he sits at the dinner table the next morning. Then a man with an infected ear is seen. In front of his wife, he is standing. It was too horrifying to see as he opened his gigantic lips and engulfed his wife's face in it. And that parasite was the cause of it. When Shinichi arrives, his pal is already on his way to school when they cross paths. When he arrives at school, she notices his enigmatic behavior. When his right hand gained a lot of power and started moving toward his residence, something strange happened to him. He attempts to hurt his hand, but some way it stops him and defends itself. The parasite that had taken over his hand and was speaking to Shinichi is then revealed. Furthermore, it has demonstrated that because it was curious about how people lived, it used to read Shinichi's books as well as utilize his laptop. When it attempted to enter his body, Shinichi halted it in its tracks, so it only infected his right hand, which was the one he was using. It introduces itself as Minji and begs that you never interrupt me. Because you are my entertainer, I won't hurt you. Although it now seems as though Shinichi and Minji are developing a friendship, the city was being torn apart by parasite-infected residents. After killing people, they were sating their appetite. On the other hand, Minji led Shinichi to a motel where a lot of parasites were devouring human flesh. They are mistaken, provide the meat, as Shinichi is likewise sick. He is still a human and not completely tainted, yet they nonetheless proceed to decapitate him. However, Minji defends Shinichi by assaulting them since it could also perish along with Shinichi. He had therefore acted alone. The killing of indigenous has been reported, but no one has been able to identify the killer since parasites carried it out deftly and quietly. Why don't you force your companion's parasites to stay away from humans? Shinichi asks Minji. Then, Minji responds, you consume other animals and vegetables in the same way. Humans are what we eat. Why is it flawed, then? When Minji was attending school, it used to be able to detect the sort of parasite present. It alerts Shinichi to the presence of a second parasite nearby. There was nothing else than his teacher seeing Shinichi. That instructor is aware of his infection. But she insists that you shouldn't be scared of me, since I don't intend to hurt others. Instead, I am learning about how others live, so that their qualities may always be present in me. It directs him to two other parasites, including a student and a policeman. It reads, I am married to this police officer, and we are having a child. And that child will grow up to be a person. Additionally, we desire to live humane lifestyles. Because it is against UN law, we won't execute someone in public. However, we like to eat in silence. Are you going to join our team? Minji disagrees, though. The same police officer visits them the next day. Then Minji shows Shinichi, who has come to murder us after learning we killed a parasite at a hotel on that particular day. Meanwhile, he is attacked by a police officer. Shinichi and Minji battle beside him. Finally, he murders him as he enters the home. Shinichi was feeling bad about killing someone. Contrarily, it is revealed that the parasite spreads to another human's body, leaving the body of a police officer. No one else save Shinichi, his mother, was responsible. She then headed over to assassinate Shinichi. Shinichi is exposed to Minji. She wants to murder you. Do what Shinichi commands. If you talk negatively about my mother, please be careful. Owing to his warm relationship with his mom, his mother was the one person he never wanted to lose. His mother assaults Shinichi after transforming into a parasite with a similar appearance to other parasites. Due to his blood waste, he is on the verge of death. It is evident the following morning that he has recovered. You are seriously hurt, Minji informs you. But I use my cells to treat your wound. But this was the dangerous thing. In the same way as Shinichi received Minji cells, he had a full-blown infection. Shinichi now starts looking for his mother, but he has no luck. 
He then inquires as to the policeman's visit to the teacher, but the instructor remains silent as well. I will need to sleep for hours each day, according to Magi. You will have to battle on your own at that point, since I won't be there to shield you. Meiji's cells have begun to take on characteristics of Muggy. The student's transformation into a parasite is now apparent. The pupil that the instructor had displayed enrolls at Shinichi's school. He poses as Shinichi's close buddy. The passing of time. Everyone is aware of his true nature as a parasite. Then the student murders everyone. He then murders Shinichi, his friend. However, Shinichi flies off the structure while grabbing his companion. The instructor who approached them wanted that pupil killed because she was afraid that student may learn her secret. She detonates the device there while staying unharmed. Police show up there. However, that pupil also dismantles the police. Ziggy informs Shinichi that a student is on one building's roof moving to another, killing him with an arrow. He then goes back to the instructor and requests the address of the policeman who was the parasite. He learns the location from the teacher. Although Muggy is taking a break, the parasite of the police officer was still in his mother. It implies that Shinichi was forced to fight by himself in this situation. He somehow ends that parasite by slitting its throat. Later, the police officer and his mother are cut off. The next scene has Shinichi visiting his friend at the hospital. He is saying that I will eliminate each parasite individually. Then it is revealed that someone is snapping images of them and that he is a spy. Just finished watching the first half of the movie. I appreciate you coming.